Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to The Second Shelf. And yes, you saw it right to another book haul. Books that I bought in February and as always, seven of them. Um, the first three, I'm not going to talk too long about it, about them, about those. <laughs> and I have fluffy hair. What, what is this? I, I don't know. We will just roll with it. Uh, but the first three I have already mentioned in various videos previous to this one because I'm already either reading them or talking about them uh, in my February plans video. So I think you've heard already quite a bit about those books and I still have to wrap them up. Uh, but I want to have all the books that I bought in this one video. So the first one is, of course, uh, Romantic Outlaws by Charlotte Gordon, which I bought uh, to read for the We Love Jenny readathon. And because also it's on my 1001 list books by female authors that I have to read before I die list. That's the name. On the tin, it says the it's a double biography, Mary Wollstonecraft and Mary Shelley. I'm about halfway through, and spoiler alert, so far, I'm really, really loving it. Um, the second one I bought for Karen over at Run Right Reads uh, Book Club. She has um, a, a list of Caribbean authors or descendants of Caribbean um, parents, authors. That didn't make sense, but, you know, she, she either the author has to be from the Caribbean or the parents or something have to be from the Caribbean. Go check out her videos. I will leave a link down below. And she has a list of uh, 12 books and I try to participate, certainly if it's a female writer. Um, and this one is a debut novel, Jasmine Seeley, The Island of Forgetting. Uh, Jasmine Seeley is from Barbados but lives in Canada. And this is a family saga of three generations, mostly fathers and sons, as you can see from the cover. Um, and this is her pick, uh, Caribbean literature for her book club for February. So I bought it end of January, to be precise. <laughs> um, and the third one that I already talked about quite a bit in, I think, yeah, in my recent reads, the last Sunday uh, video, that is uh, Tipping the Velvet by Sarah Sarah Waters, which I'm reading with Lisa from Unhinged uh, Woman Book Club. Um, and this is also on my 1001 uh, list. You know, the 1001 women. <laughs> it's just too long. So I'm going to call it the 1001 list from now on. And you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and it's my first Sarah Waters. And it's also Sarah Waters first because it was her debut published in 1998. And then on to the books that I haven't talked um, about, at least one I have a little bit, but the other three I haven't. Uh, the first one is a translated work from um, Japan, Yoko Tabada, Scattered All Over the Earth. Does it say the translator? No, it doesn't. Translated from the J uh, Japanese by Margaret Mitsutani. Now, uh, Toko Yoko Tabada is a Japanese author living or having lived in, I'm not sure she still lives in Germany, but she has lived in Berlin for a long time. And she writes, or she did write in Japanese and German. This is her latest, and this was published in 2018. Um, and she wrote this one, obviously, because I mentioned translator in Japanese. I really enjoy her work. She is, if I hadn't, I, I mean, I don't like the word quirky, but if I, if I did like it, that would probably be the best way of describing her work because it's really weird in a good way. I read uh, Memoirs of a Polar Bear, which was hilarious and also very tender uh, about polar bears who actually are part of human society and they can speak and it, it 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 was just yeah i mean there was this whole thing in germany uh about a young polar bear in the zoo in berlin and i think that probably spurred her to write about it yeah but i i 
I just enjoy the way she thinks and the way she writes. She also wrote a book in German uh, about uh, translations and about struggling with a, a new language, which was absolutely hilarious. And this one is kind of a sci-fi. Um, Scattered Earth is the not so distant future where Japan has disappeared from the earth and is just remembered as the land of sushi. And then plot ensues from there. I, I didn't really look that much at, at the plot um, because I was just, you know, seeing it's Yoko Tawada and it's sci-fi and that that was uh, that was enough for me and also i should mention of course this is part of another project of mine because this is published gorgeous uh, cover i think published by new directions and, and new directions is a, an independent publisher that i want to focus on this year not that i only read books published by them but i want to read a chunk you know, every other month or something, a book by them. So maybe six, seven uh, books from their backlist or new releases. And this is the first uh, that I will read in 2024, Scattered All Over the Earth uh, by Yoko Tawada, translated from the, Sp from the Japanese by Margaret Mitsutani. The next one um, is a book uh, that uh, contemporary fiction shortlisted for the Booker Prize. You've probably heard of that, Sarah Bernstein's Study for Obedience, um, published in 2023. Um, it, it's a debut novel, and she is a Canadian author, is that right? Yes, but she lives in Scotland. Um, this is the a book about uh, a woman who, set in contemporary uh, Scotland or Canada, not sure, but anyway, set in the in the in the here and now, um, uh, uh, about a woman who t goes to live with her brother to take care of his house after his wife and children left him. Um, it's not typically a book I would pick up from the theme, but I need to read it uh, for my own book that I'm writing at the moment. I'm writing a nonfiction book. Um, if you are interested, let me know. I can make a video uh, uh, on the book. I'm almost finished, maybe another two months or something. Um, and I wanted to read this because it's one of the themes I'm exploring is uh, single women caring for family members. And this was, you know, it has two stickers on it. <laughs> Uh, and it, it it was, many people really loved it. So I thought this is a good um, book about this theme and I want to read it. Uh, the next book, For the Life of Me, I can't remember who recommended it to me. If it was one of you, let me know. It might also be that I saw it on somebody else's channel. I, I have no idea. But it's also translated and it's also kind of dystopian um and i've never heard of this author and helene lestadius stolen and it was translated from the swedish by yeah rachel wilson broils uh, rachel wilson broils and it is set um in the very north part of Sweden, the Arctic circles, and we have nine-year-old uh, Elsa, and she is she and her family are Sami, Scandinavians, indigenous people, um, and making their living um, by herding reindeer. And one morning, Elsa witnesses um, an act of murder. Somebody murders a reindeer, and then the story takes off from there. Um, I, one of the projects, as you know, um, is trying to read at least one or two translated works of fiction every month. And if I can, I also am looking for translated nonfiction, but that's harder to come by. So that was probably why I was immediately interested. I had never read this author and certainly hadn't read anything about um, the Sami or Sami people in Scandinavia. 
But it was, I didn't come across this myself, and it also has a sticker on it. Soon to be a major Netflix film. Like I care. Anyway, calm down, calm down. Stickers won't go away <laughs> because your blood pressure is all going through the roof. But anyway, I wouldn't have come across this book just by chance. So there, somebody recommended it. But yeah, I can't, uh, I can't remember who. I think one of the things that I really hate with Goodreads, and no, I'm not going to go to Storygraph. I just have all these lists and everything on Goodreads and I'm, I'm just too lazy. <laughs> but what I really don't like uh, of Goodreads is that if you mark a book as one to read, you can't have notes. You can have private notes once you finish the book and write a review, or even if you you don't even have to rank it or rate it or write a review, but then you have this little section where you can write private notes. And I would really love to have that when you mark a book as want to read, because then I would write, you know, where I came across, how I came across the book. So anyway. Back to the topic of the books that I bought. Uh, the last one, the seventh one, is the one that I have mentioned also at least once because it's my buzz book for February. The, this, you know, where I make a, a, a review video of one book uh, that has been buzzed about. And it's a, it has to be a new release because I don't read that many new releases, but I want to read at least one every month. And for February, I chose a book that was published on the 30th, 30th of January, uh, Kylie Reed's new novel, Come and Get It. Uh, Kylie Reed is a black American author, and there's a lovely picture of our author. Um, and her, whoops, her debut novel, um, Such a Fun Age, published a couple of years back, and Many, many people loved it. It did not work as well for me, but like I said, a debut and another sticker. <sighs> yeah, here, yeah. best selling author of such a fun age. <sighs> anyway, but it didn't work that well for me, but then again, it was a debut, and this is definitely a book that has been buzzed about. It's set in 2017 and uh, two female main characters, Millie and uh, Agatha. Agatha is um, uh, uh, in college, wants to graduate, and then Agatha is a writer, and she is researching attitudes towards weddings and money for her new book, and she is interviewing um, other young women in Millie's dorm. That's all I know. Again, I pick these books not for the plot, not because I you know, I'm interested in that particular story. So I'm, I'm just picking them up because they are buzzed about. And then I want to go into the book when it comes to plot or story relatively blind. And I will read this uh, second half of February and then the review video will be up uh, towards the end of the month. So those are the seven books let me see whether I can do that. Oh, seven books. Yeah, and they're all upside down, of course, because I put them upside down. I'm not good at that. <laughs> but I made a thumbnail where, I, where I'm holding all the books, so that's at least something. But that's the seven books that I acquired in February. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the book haul. Uh, let me know if you have read um, any of the books. Uh, and uh, if you are uh, interested in this series, the Buzz Book series, I'm still looking for a book published in March uh, because this counts, for me, this counts as February, you know, the 30th, 30th of January. But a book published either in the second half of February or beginning of March um, that I can review in March. If you have one by a female author that you feel is a Buzz Book, let me know. Uh, looking forward to any other comments as well. And as always, I'll talk to you soon in the next one.